Olivia Vogel, born and raised in Brazil. I moved to the States in 2001. It wasn't until 2016 when I got into Tough Mudder and uh, Mud Races that I started training for competitive um, races, uh, such as Spartan Race. I uh, fell in love with them and I have been training and competing for them ever since. <laughs> I started training for the two races, the sprint and the super, and I got in a car accident in January, and that put me out of the races and training, uh, you know, due to neck injuries, and I couldn't run, I couldn't carry any weight, so uh, I had to give up on, on those races. 2000 and 19, I decided that I wanted to do everything at once, and then I got into a, a, a deeper training with Coach Stress, and we decided that you know I was gonna go for for all of it or nothing. So I chose to go to Hawaii to do all three of them in one weekend. I don't know what to expect because I never know until he gets here. But I feel good. I'm well rested. So I'm looking forward to it's going to be like the first full week of, um, of a workout with the two training sessions with Coach in there. But I feel good. <laughs> so we're going to just do a med ball walk, uh, adjust some of her positions, get her used to, to moving short of breath and under load. Um, one of the things that they they do in Spartan is is uh, you know, odd object carries, buckets of rocks and stuff like that. So we're going to simulate some of that <laughs> with uh, this 60 pound med ball. Have her carry it here, alternate shoulders, and uh, um, see how far she can go. We had her built up to um, uh, a solid mile. Uh, in her last last phase of training for her last her last race, so um, we're not gonna go that far today, but um, we're gonna make it suck just a little bit. Training with Coach Dress, it's, it's been an interesting journey. When I'm out there in the course and I'm running, it's, it's the voice that's in my head, <laughs> you know, that says, you know, push harder, commit, push to the finish line. Focus, let's go. That's it. Manage the position, manage the position. You're all right. We've built a good relationship as a uh, an athlete and a trainer to be able to teach me how to break those uncomfortable zones when you think you can't go anymore and to show me that I, I am capable of doing that if I just commit to it. And I think that's the, the main thing I've learned from him is to just really commit to doing something that you really want to do and, and give you all. He expects nothing less, you know, and that's what I really like when I'm training with him is that I know that he will push me to my max, you know? He will break me physically and break me mentally. Livia's a, she's a warrior, man, you know? She, uh, she embodies that, that warrior spirit. She approaches uh, every, every session with maximal intensity. She's one of those athletes I have, to, I have to talk off the ledge. I have to convince her to do less sometimes because she always wants to do more. But at the same time, she also appreciates the mental and the spiritual preparation that comes with uh, winning. She's just as interested in developing herself in those two realms as she is physically, uh, which I think is one of the things that will, will set her apart. Uh, when she approaches that start line and finishes the race. I'd be super proud of her if she won the, the athlete search through first form. It wouldn't surprise me. You know, it would just be another feather in her cap from the standpoint that she put her mind to it and she earned it. You know, everything that she's done uh, with me and prior to me 
she's earned every step of the way. So I feel like nobody's more deserving of uh, winning this particular competition and everything that comes with it than Olivia. If I would become the first form athlete, it would change my life in a way where I could really use that to help inspire other people. Being part of this, it's what really represents to me is that you can do the work that you do. And even if you're in a position where I've always been to, you know, being a mother, being a, a leader, and having the time to dedicate to, to become an athlete and just to use that to show people that, that it's a possibility, that you can be in a position where you have such a, a, an awesome opportunity like this to, to, to show and to share with people that it's possible to, to be an athlete. Thank you.